Um, Sally, what have you been up to in the last year? Well, after the, after the house. Mm -hmm. After the house, I partnered with a friend uh, or a couple of friends mm -hmm. because I realized a gap in society where we oftentimes refer to Africa as a place where there are no role models, okay. which is actually a lie because the fact is we've refused to document mm. the, the, the exploits of our heroes and heroines. Sure. So oftentimes when people want to start something, they feel like they are the first to do it and they don't have any blueprint to start or any foundation to lay upon. Mm. And so our society have lacked what we call continuity. And so based on that, I went back to my my town called Ajidoma is in the Volta region. Mm. And so I spot a few people who are changing the narrative, okay. who are helping people. And so there is one woman called Miss Broom, who was once a nun in Brazil. And then she came down to Ghana to just come and help rural girls, especially in my area, to be able to attend school. Mm. And so I decided to tell her story because most people don't know about her and okay. she decided to keep it that way. Okay. But the work she's doing is something that is worth the coverage of every world standard media house, but there's right. nobody doing it and we can't wait. Okay, so we have that on air as well, the stories you were telling, yeah? Yes, how, please. How lovely. And so the thing is that in the absence of people or all those large corporations, we mm. can't wait because there is this saying that if the lions doesn't have or don't have their own uh, historians, mm. then the tale okay. of the hunt okay. just glorifies the hunter. Okay. And so I decided to tell this woman's story to just inspire every other ba uh, person who wants to apply what she has done and to also give her her rules while she's still there to at least smell it. Mm. And then mm. a couple of things mm. like that mm. so that I can encourage even mm. younger generations to do more of that. I like that. And I so like that. I did that corroborating the story with a few people. And I even came here to just for a master class and that has boosted my oh, ability. Oh, a master class as well? Yes, you presented on that. Oh, wow. I was so happy yes, to yes, see Yes, 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 yes. That's amazing. I was inspired. Yeah. And so I took that on and then decided to tell a very beautiful story. Mm. Uh, it's a very small YouTube page that I have. I wish I have a bigger platform to put that on. But for now, the... So how can we... The first let's put out the YouTube. Yeah, just, so, just so that those at home can be able to follow. Yeah, it's, it's on the 55R channel. If you go to YouTube and you, you type 55R, five, five, you, you five, see that. 55R. Yeah, a journey of faith. That's the a story. A journey of faith. Okay. And so we've done that documentary and then we've picked up another one too. And so... And every now and then I release poetry projects. Mm -hmm. And then there is a, an EP also coming up. All because... PM Extra has given me that confidence and given me a platform where people see me. Because yes. at the point, Big Mama told me that if you want to do something, make sure you are using your voice because right. she thinks I have a voice. And yeah. that for me, coming from her, means a lot to me. So I that's like what that. I've been up to. I like that. I love that. And um, that's amazing to say. So um, the, you also have an EP coming out. So you're going to be, you're singing on that EP. No, it's a poetry EP. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Spoken word. So it's a spoken word EP yes. going out that yes. become able to stream on any digital platform. Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Do we have a, a start date on that or when is going to be dropping? I don't want to be ahead of myself okay. because it's okay. quite a work. So let me so just sometime keep everybody... in this year. Yes, this okay. year, definitely. Okay, we like that. Yeah.